Hi, welcome to day eight of Solitude. I'm Katherine Nelson. I hope these videos have really been encouraging you and giving you something to kind of center yourself each day. Yesterday we talked about distress versus discomfort and really being more self-aware and more tuned into our bodies, being willing to recognize when we're uncomfortable rather than doing something to fix it right away, but building confidence that we can sit with discomfort and that's an, that's an okay thing. We have the ability to be able to do that. So today let's talk about kind of, and I'm going to bring the action item as sort of the, the first part today because the action is, is today I want to really focus on doing something for somebody else. These are really difficult times that we're in right now. Everyone is feeling the stress of this. And I think it's very, very easy to get so inwardly focused. Um, I've been doing volunteer work my whole life. And part of why I'm so passionate about it is because it really, it keeps any of my own problems in tremendous perspective. When you think that you have an issue and then you go and work with whether it's animals in a shelter or it's somebody in a homeless shelter or working at a soup kitchen or in a hospital or whatever it is, um, those opportunities really help us to stay more grounded and to look at our own situation with a lot more kindness and softness. Now, of course, going out and doing volunteer work you know, is a lot more tricky in this current situation where we're encouraged to do social distancing and to be tucked away in our homes. But I'm still amazed to be able to see the level of our ability to be creative about finding connections with people and being able to support one another during this time. There is a post on Nextdoor where someone had said that they were more than willing to get groceries for people or do whatever they could because they had a lot of extra spare time right now. And I loved, I just had to look through all the responses to it because it was so uplifting. People saying, oh, thank you, I could really use the help. And then other people saying, I'll help too. You know, I'm happy. I have, I have time to, and happiness to share. So those are things that we can do for other people depending on our situation and making sure that we're doing it as safely as possible. But stepping out there and, and maintaining those connections. I've heard back from some of you about the second video where I shared a bunch of suggestions of, of ideas for how to fill your time and a number of you have followed up on reaching out to people that you maybe had you know lost touch with or not had as much real contact with for a while and I'm just loving hearing the stories of how beneficial that is for people and the nice thing about something like that is sure it benefits you, but it also benefits that other person. They now know that somebody is thinking about them and cares and wants to connect. So it's such a win-win situation. And that's something that I'd really love for you to try one of these suggestions today is look through your Facebook contacts or your email contacts. And what I want you to do is really scan for somebody that you think would really value you reaching out to them even if it maybe isn't like the closest relationship or somebody that where it would be a call where you'd be like, oh, really excited to do it, but you know that they would really appreciate having somebody call and saying, hey, I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing and let you know that I care and is there, are there any ways that I could help you? And that may be somebody across the country or it might be somebody in your neighborhood. You know, if you know that there's somebody in your neighborhood who's elderly and can't get out as easily, maybe putting a note on their door or you know, offering to pick up something for them, doing whatever you can to be helpful. Um, another idea would be, and this is a lot better within the social distancing piece, but maybe if you have the financial means, just sending some small little unexpected gift to somebody that you think it would brighten their day. Maybe your favorite book or a little treat that would maybe give them a bright right moment in their day. I don't think there's much better than going to your mailbox and seeing a note that's got handwritten on it. I mean, nowadays that's so rare and it's so fun to get something that somebody took the time to think about you. So give that some thought. Think about ways, be creative. Think about how you could brighten somebody else's day through a small gesture. I'm not talking about doing anything extreme. I'm just saying think outside the box and try to do something meaningful today that will let somebody else know that you care about them and that there is hope during this time of things getting better.
and I think you can provide that bright spot to somebody else. And when you do that, I think you will also feel better because you're focusing on the needs of another person as well. So go out there and, and do some good for people. And when I say go out there, I mean, you know, be creative. You don't have to leave your home to necessarily do this, but just really be thinking about how you you can bring sunshine and brightness into somebody else's world at this kind of difficult time. I hope you have a fantastic day eight. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.